this morning on Secrets to Living Younger and Longer, the science of youth. Here now with some tips is CBS News technology correspondent Daniel Seberg. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Larry. I want to know about this. I know, right? This sounds pretty appealing, living longer. But if you were born in 1900, your life expectancy would have been just 47 years. Now today, that number is up to 78 years. But many scientists believe we could be living much longer than that in the not-too-distant future. The explorer Ponce de Leon never found that fountain of youth, but today scientists are continuing that search, and many believe it's just a matter of time. I would say there's a pretty good chance, actually, that something will come along, some pill that you could take, that will keep you young longer. At the University of California, San Francisco, Dr. Cynthia Kenyon has found a way to extend life. By manipulating genes, she's been able to make worms live six times longer than normal. If you look at the individual tissues in the worms, they look young. So it's, it's like a miracle, except it's not a miracle, it's science. We change one gene and a worm that would have been dead is still young. Four steps too. Mm -hmm. So if you look at, at a medical dictionary, aging is a set of diseases that most people get as they get older. And the reason we call it aging is because most of us get these diseases. Dr. David Sinclair runs a research company in Massachusetts that's testing a substance he hopes will prevent age-related diseases. It's called resveratrol, and trace amounts are found in red wine. The grape skin actually makes a lot of the resveratrol, and that protects the plant against invading diseases. And by ingesting this molecule in large amounts, we activate the same defense program. In tests on mice, a concentrated form of resveratrol produced amazing results. Last year we published that these mice were protected against all the, all the aspects of aging that we could look at, from cardiovascular disease to things like diabetes. But many people aren't willing to wait for researchers to find answers. Instead, they turn to a growing number of anti-aging supplements. Some even inject themselves with steroids and human growth hormones in an effort to stay young. But experts say lifestyle choices, such as a healthy diet and exercise, are the safest, most effective way to add years. Right now, everyone listening to this, you too, can change your rate of aging dramatically and improve your quality of life as you get older. Dr. Michael Roizen is the co-author of You, Staying Young. He says how we live dramatically affects how long we live. About 70% of how long and well we live are our choices, and 30% are our genes. You. So you can do a whole bunch of things now. The most important factor is your management of stress. That is, stress is the greatest ager. It affects every one of our aging areas, and you get to control it by your response. The second greatest thing in aging is blood pressure. So know your blood pressure number, 115 over 75 is where your arteries age the least. Dr. Roizen says something as simple as walking 30 minutes a day can add years. So it decreases heart disease, it decreases memory loss, it decreases almost all of the cancers and recurrence rates of cancers. So it is magical. Aging experts say a healthy lifestyle is the best way to make it to the day when a scientific breakthrough can extend our lives even longer. What's the chance that one of these breakthroughs will occur? I think the chance is greater than 50-50 that we sit here in 20 years and talk not about living to 150, but could we live much longer than that? Amazing possibilities. What's interesting is that all of the aging experts and researchers that we spoke to believe a scientific breakthrough of some kind is entirely possible, if not entirely likely. So at this point, it's sort of like there's no fountain of youth necessarily, but maybe a fountain of living well. Yeah. All right. So what did you find? Folks our age, late 30s, in your case, 36, 39. Right. How old can we expect to live? It's quite possible that we could live to be 100 or a little more. And of course, you want to live it in a healthy way, not in the nursing home for most of those years. Maybe some more red wine. Yeah, you'd have to drink about 1,000 glasses a, a day to get that effect. <laughs> so maybe not such well, a good idea. But. Even me, no can do. All right, Daniel Sieber, great advice and a great story. We Thanks, appreciate son. it. You bet.